viral video of woman explaining why Chinese restaurants and Asian stores aren't in white neighborhoods. Yeah, man. Now, y'all know my theory on this. My theory is that the reason with so many Asian stores in the black community is because black people, we don't have the the the, the mind to, to run businesses, man. Like stores, corner stores and shit like that. We can run like different kind of businesses and shit. Clothing stores, stores with less skews. But a, 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 um, and when I say skew, I'm talking about the, the UPC code. Each, each, each item has a different code. A corner store in a, in a little corner store you might go into in any in neighborhood has up to 40,000 SKUs. And you got to keep track of all that shit. You got to keep everything stocked. We're not good at that. And Chinese people are very good at it. That's why if you go to any African nation, the Chinese people run those stores. And I'm not talking about recently. I'm talking about back in the day, colonial times. It was either Indians or Chinese people running those stores in Africa. Whether it was South Africa, Uganda, wherever. And then, of course, we know how it goes in America. So I just think that I, I use Occam's razor, man. I don't get into all the conspiracy theories, man. I use Occam's razor, man. If it looked like a duck and it quacked like a duck and it got feathers, <laughs> and it could swim and fly. <laughs> I mean, it's a fucking duck, man. <laughs> let's see. Let's see where, where this, what this um, Asian woman says. Americans were redlined from opening businesses in white neighborhoods because white people didn't want Asian Americans operating in their neighborhoods and didn't want Asian Americans profiting off of white people. Oh, yeah, this is really important. But because the positionality of Asian Americans is weaponized to oppress black people, Asian Americans were being given loans to. The positionality of Asians is being weaponized to <laughs> affect black people, man. See, this is the thing. I get pandering because pandering gets you a lot in this world being a panderer. It's very lucrative, and it keeps you from getting canceled, and it makes you one of the good guys and shit. And you're like, you raise up in the hierarchy of your friend group. I get all that. But you got to be careful with pandering to us, man, because if you tell us some shit, we really going to use that shit against you. This ain't like you, there ain't no throwaway lines, man. That's what y'all um, tigers and y'all gliders got to learn. There ain't no throwaway lines. If you give us an excuse, we going to take that motherfucker. <laughs> and we going to hate you for it, too. Like, this woman don't know. She think that black people is going to hear this and be like, oh, she a good. Black people going to hear this and hate her for that shit. <laughs> so y'all you got, you, got to be careful with that pandering shit because... When you pander, it don't have the same effect that you think it's going to have. Your pandering don't have the effect you think it's going to have. You're thinking that it's endearing. It's making us hate you because you basically, we, we looking for a reason for why we ain't got shit. We looking for a reason why, like, every fucking store in our neighborhood is run by somebody that's not black. And you giving us one and you telling us it's, it's y'all, y'all weaponized against us. That's gonna make us hate you, man. And and then and then and then some crazy homeless black dude gonna fucking knock out a 90-year-old Asian woman for that shit. Open businesses in black communities, even though black people were not able to receive loans to open businesses in their own communities. Say what? And as I've said before, as a result of this. 
black wealth is essentially paid out twice when it goes to Asian American businesses, even though black people were not able to receive loans to open businesses in their own communities. So everybody robbing us. Black wealth is essentially paid out twice when it goes to Asian American businesses, once when the individual pays for the goods or services, and then again when the Asian American business owner removes the profit from the community. You gotta be shitting me. Usually, people open businesses in their own communities, and this is mutually beneficial, where the business owner is making a livelihood off of providing goods and services to their community. And by being a member of the community, they're contributing and they're investing back into the community. Nipsey hustle. And that is not what happens with. What's up, Wiki man? What you think about this, man? Yo, as if some people need another reason to hate tigers. <laughs> yeah, man, she just got a she just got about five seventy plus year old Asian knocked out in San Francisco, New York. Fucking moron. Yeah, I just don't know, man. What's going on, Bill? Oh, not much, buddy. How you doing tonight? Oh, everything's cool, man. I, hey, I hey, Bill, is it true what she's saying? Are you guys doing doing this? <laughs> can, can you guys can you guys stop it? Yeah, man. Could we stop eating Chinese food? No way. <laughs> Devil by Bill, man. Um, salute to um, salute to Nipsey Hussle for um owning a L shape um strip mall with four stores in it. <laughs> I mean, he a legend for that, man. The, the new Black Wall Street? Right. He, like, they make it seem like Nipsey Hussle owned, like, a fucking Mall of America or some shit. He owned one of them little strip malls that you see in the hood with a T-Mobile, uh, um, a carryout, a check cashing place, and probably man. a fucking barbershop or some shit. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's like say one of them 24-hour tax places. Yeah. Uh, maybe a Chinese restaurant. Yeah, or, or, yeah, exactly. Or or even, maybe even a payday loan place or some shit in there or something. Yeah, man, that's, that, that shit Nipsey Hussle had, he's, he's still a legend off of that? Damn, man. That's sad, man. He ain't even for, he an African, man. He a whole hey, you guys want to see something pretty? Here you go. It's raining. Oh, that's ice. That's ice. Yo, 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 Bill, Bill sure does love his fucking cold weather out there. Yeah, man, because it keeps the sun man away, man. <laughs> it's springtime, baby. Yeah, man. <laughs> I got almost got grass in the front yard I can see. I still yeah. got three foot of snow in the backyard, but the sun will get there eventually. <laughs> yo, yo, I Bill loves his weather more than I love pussy. Yeah, man. I mean, you are, and you are on burrito, so that's saying something, man. American Whatever it makes you keep me in paradise. She said it. Asian Americans were redlined from opening businesses in white neighborhoods because white people didn't want Asian Americans operating in their neighborhoods and didn't want Asian Americans profiting off of white people. Oh, yeah, this is really important. But because the positionality of Asian Americans is weaponized to oppress Black people, Asian Americans were being given loans to open businesses in Black communities, even though Black people were not able to receive loans to open businesses in their own communities. Say what? And as I've said before, as a result of this, Black wealth is essentially paid out twice when it goes to Asian American businesses. Damn, y'all double screwing us over, man. We got to knock out. I got I might knock out a 90-year-old Asian woman when I, when I see you on the street, man. You got <laughs> to. Brown sugar, man. Next time you get your nails done, you got to fucking run off without paying, man. Because fuck this shit. They stealing our money, man. Now I ain't forget my ass, B. <laughs> yeah, they do be fucking y'all sisters up, man. They, they yeah, they'll jump on one. They'll jump on the sister and the heartbeat. She run off. Yeah, they beat you with a broom and everything. Um, yeah, yeah, man. The Nation Islam be out there the next day, man. This is sad, man, that this Asian woman felt she had to do this, man. 
um you didn't have to do this you, it didn't it, it's not doing what you think it's doing and you're a fucking moron for doing it sorry miss asia hey I, does that happen in dc too what you just said about the nation of islam because it happens here the the tigers will attack a sister for running off and yeah. then the next day the brothers are gonna come and act like they give a fuck yeah and act like she was innocent and shit and, and act like yeah definitely without a doubt i mean that happens everywhere everything you see in chicago happens in dc everything um per capita um let's see uh um okay here we go so stitch this and tell me something that white people aren't ready to hear white women don't have any internal power they wield the power of, of the men around them their husbands their fathers their sons white women didn't have autonomy for a long time so um, we were taught to sexually exploit ourselves and emotionally manipulate those around us in order to do the things we wanted to white women do not teach their daughters about internal power it is not something that is passed on and due to that fact um, white women are intimidated by and jealous of the divine feminine within the indigenous and black communities and the Facts. <laughs> why? Why are these people doing this stuff? This is not. This is not working the way you think it's gonna work, man. This pandering is just. It just. It creates. I, I, you know what? And tell me, it gliders in the chat. Please tell me. Does pandering work for you guys? Like as as a black guy, if I like tell you yeah gliders are really really smart for fucking letting black people run all over them and, and you're doing the right thing by letting fucking goddamn um goddamn fucking old britos come across the border by the thousands every day that's the right thing to do does that does that fucking does that fucking make you feel good <laughs> I, mean, I just don't know how pandering works for gliders I hate pandering <laughs> because I had some white people pander to me at work. I just stopped at working and she was like, what's the worst word that you could say to a black person? The most offensive word. And I'm like, ho? And she like, ho? It's not the N word? I'm like, oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, maybe. I don't know. They say it to each other so much. I don't think so. Yeah, because you're a female. As a black woman, man, black women don't get called the N word. Exactly. Like, ho is a, <laughs> to me, I'm like, ho. Right. To be fair, they call ho each other a lot all the time, too, though. They call each other ho and bitch all the time, right? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. I don't know. I don't let, I don't, I don't, I mean, I say it to other women, but I don't let them say it to me. Like, if I say it to another woman, it's because I'm angry, but like, just to say it, like, hey, bitch, I don't do that. Right. Like, like, ho, you like, crazy? Yeah, I don't talk like that. If yeah. those words come out of my mouth, because I'm irritated. Yeah. But y'all already know that. Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, and this woman right here says, as a, as a white woman spending a lot of time in therapy, working on codependency and a deep rooted feeling of powerlessness, I completely agree with her. Our connection to the divine feminine was intentionally smothered a long time ago so that we could be manipulated and controlled as a prized resource rather than human beings. It is something we have to actively work to tap back into. Most never do. Everyone has their generational trauma. What are these? Oh my God. You don't, you, y'all telling sisters this shit? Yikes. Yikes. Y'all telling sisters this? Good luck with that. <laughs> Good luck. Internal power that that brings with them. It's one of the reasons that white women are clamoring to appropriate looks and lifestyles that they have been oppressing for centuries. It's also one of the reasons that white women tears are what they are. Um, and the black angry black woman trope works. It makes the white woman the victim and it covers up the black woman's um, power as unjustified anger. <laughs> oh shit. I gotta see how many views this got, man, because you I you actually seen this video before last year. Yo, this thing got seventy thousand likes. Yikes. What channel was it on, Ike? 
I don't know. This guy, Unk in Feministry. Unk I, I bet the comments are lit. Unk Life Ministry, yeah. Listen, this this 70,000 likes? Oh, shit, you glad as fucked up. Y'all done, y'all done fucked up bad. That thing got 70,000 likes? Woo! Uh, salute to Savage, when He says, self-guilty gliders are insufferable. Yeah, man, that, facts. With glasses that thick and she still can't see she's being fooled, she's in trouble. Austin Dovercourt the third says, salute, ah, uh, did you hear the NAACP in Florida is advising the travel ban for sons to the Sunshine State because of DeSantis? Sons are politically incompetent. Scott Adams was right again. Yeah, we're going to check that out, man. We're going to have to go check out. The, um, I, I heard something about that in passing, but I don't know too much about it. We're going to have to check that out. Golly, man, you glad as man. What are y'all doing out here in the streets? Um, uh, let's see. Uh, what else? Is, oh, God, Jesus Christ. You want to ban drag show readings to children? To my house, yes. Why? Is that free speech? Are you infringing on that performer's free speech? They can continue to exercise their free speech, just not in front of a child. Why? Because the government does have a responsibility to protect. I'm sorry? The government does have a responsibility uh-huh. in certain instances to What's protect the children. leading cause of death amongst children in this country? And I'm. An- um, if, you, if you remove black children from this stat, if you remove the, the black children, which probably make up. Let's just say 13% of children. Let's just say that since that's our population. If you remove black children from this stat, it's not guns. But if you put black children in this stat for the entire country, the number one cause of death for children is guns. And to give you a hint, it's not drag show readings to children. Correct, yes. So what is it? I'm presuming you're going to say it's firearms. No, I'm not going to say it like it's an opinion. That's what it is. It's firearms. More than cancer, more than car accidents. And what you're telling me is you don't mind infringing free speech to protect children from this amorphous thing that you think of. But when it comes to children that have died, you don't give a flying fuck to stop. And neither do you. Exactly. He should elaborate, Ike. He should elaborate yeah. on that firearms uh, talking point. Hey, I don't, I don't know what you guys are talking about. That juice man is being completely honest and genuine when he says shit like that. <laughs> There's nothing you know, that Kike, that Kike has never told a lie his entire life. So I don't know where you get that from. The only decent thing that fucking John Stewart has done in recent memory is bring attention to the people suffering from the 9-11 cancer stuff. Beyond that, he's a, a fucking one. lefty. Oh, idiot. yeah, that thing that his home country did. Yeah, he did a good job with that one. That That's a very good one, um, for sure. But I I don't understand how they could with a straight face defend that shit with kids. Yeah. This what just... the fuck is wrong with these people? Why is this so hard to understand? They're going to look back on this time. And these people, I hope not. Let's just say, I hope that history looks back on these people. It's like, damn, like, kind of like we look back on people that own slaves or people that, like, beat their wives and shit <laughs> back in the day. Like, you look at, we hope history looks back on them like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> this shit. Right. Well, it's not looking good, Chief. We're, we're losing this battle. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's not looking good. Dude. But, you know, things can turn around in an instant, man. It, it, all it takes is the people to stand up. The people won't stand up, and that's the reason. If you stood up to listen, think about it. If you just stand up to this, we're losing to men in dresses who make up less than 1% of the population. Right. I mean, way less than 1% of the population. Men in dresses are fucking bullying everybody let me see um muramasa says hey Ak, what's up president L- lbj is working well and in overdrive he did say he will have the sun people voting democrat for the next 200 years and he was right yeah i mean yeah that shit is crazy and, and it's only 60 years in so we got another 140 years of this shit that's why I say it's going to take white white men to do this shit. I'm, I'm not asking black people to fix it. I've never asked black people to fix this country. Because we, 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 we are incapable of doing it. 
I, so I want to see burritos. There's no solution. I'm team. I'm team on burrito. <laughs> this guy. No, but I. But so what you're saying is that there's no solution because I can't see it, brother. I mean, I I hate to be so pessimistic, you know, but I just can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, I mean, we just you just gotta hope that there's a silent majority. I mean, a a mute majority. Fuck silent. You gotta hope there's a mute majority out there that's ready to rise up at a moment's notice, and you'd be like, oh damn! So everybody hey. was against this shit. They were just scared. That's what right, that's what, it, that's what it feels like anyway, man. Right? Yeah. Black people need to stop complaining about systemic racism and take some personal responsibility. Everyone is equal under the law now. They may be policed more, but that's only because they commit a disproportionate amount of the crime. Why? Well, I'm not saying that black people are naturally more likely to be criminals or anything. I, I just think it's a part of their culture. Why? Well, probably because their dads weren't around to raise them properly. Why? I don't know. Probably because they were too poor to afford a kid, so they left. Why? Well, they probably can't get a good job because they never went to college. Why? Well, I guess it is probably because they couldn't afford it, but they, they, they didn't get good enough grades to get a scholarship either. Why? Well, I guess that is probably because their school is underfunded. Why? Because school funding is determined by property taxes and... They were born into poor areas. Why? Because their family hasn't been able to build enough wealth to move out. Why? Because the first black people who were born with equal rights under the law are less than 60 years old. Black people need to stop complaining. <laughs> this dude wouldn't last one week in a son's school. But that that's the, that doesn't make any sense to why the father left the home and not and isn't raising the child, right? Because you did stories uh, about poor people here in America coming from um, overseas and they still have a family unit. I mean, this this somewhere in Vietnam on some fucking rice paddy on the side of a hill. It's a fucking village full of. <laughs> People that can't have never read a word in their life, and everybody, every hut got a father in it. Damn. So it's like this is horse shit, man. This is horse shit. It's this was this was ugly pandering though. This this right here, this was this this was bad. I think this was the worst one, man. I ain't gonna lie. This is I guarantee you, this guy doesn't know any black people. Zero. He got all this shit from TikTok. And yeah, turned around and put strung this bullshit together. I'll take your latter opinion, man. I don't know, but you would know better than me. But this <laughs> yeah, guy I, right I here, would guarantee you he would shit his pants if Trayvon and Daquan looked at him the wrong way. Wow. <laughs> yeah, if, man. If he wandered off Bourbon Street and got lost. <laughs> yeah, man. It's rough out here, man. Especially when you're doing that, like... He, right. he can't believe this. I right. don't believe that he believes any of that shit. Yeah. I think he's just doing this because this is what, like, like Fabian said, this is the way gliders, this is how y'all are wired. Y'all do this shit. Y'all believe that you got to do the right thing and shit. So kowtow and the black people right, right now at this present period, this era is the right thing. Right. It's kind of like, you know, when you're in, the, you're in the hood as a son, man, and you just got to, you know, you knock somebody out. And it's like, this is the code and all that for them. Right. But right. but I yeah. but I, I think the Tiger one was worse because they they or at least they were getting the brakes beat off of them by the son, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is the Yeah. I mean, well, here's the thing, though. Like whatever's happening in the Tigers, gliders are getting that, too. So, like, it's not like. I would say more gliders are getting it, but we don't hear about it because the Tigers mm. are a, a minority technically, and so they got oh, okay. the Asian hate built. Like, think about it, man. There's six percent of the population less than, and that's including I think Pacific Islanders. So like, gliders are sixty percent of the population. Who's lot more likely to get it? You know. Okay. Who, who, Who's well, what about for capita it? then? Do you think it will still be the gliders? For capita, oh yeah, definitely gliders, mm. man. Listen, man, we 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 we, we got to do the gum. I think we haven't done the gum world game in months, so you probably you probably lost. <laughs> 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 you 
you, you uh, the government world game, man, is is just. We might try to get to that today, man. If I, if, I, if if we get, to, if maybe we get to that. But yeah, it's 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 it's. I think you forgot, man, how how ugly it is out here. Um, yeah. Um. So yeah, this this pandering is. Oh, here go. Let me let me just show you now. Here 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 we go. We uh, we do it. Nobody does it like us. Nobody does it like us. Here we go. Louis Vuitton stole it from Africa. Versace stole it from Africa. The Washington Monument stole it from Africa. They even stole some of us from Africa. All of y'all wealth stole it from Africa. Statue of Liberty stole it from Africa. Jesus stole it from Africa. Everything we made niggas is jacked. American Eagle stole it from Africa. Queen Elizabeth Gold stole it from Africa. Lincoln Statue stole it from Africa. It was made in China, but stole it from Africa. The medical symbol stole it from Africa. Jesus story stole it from Africa. The cross stole it from Africa. The light bulb stole it from Africa. The Pope even know that it started with Africa. It starts with an Anthony Joseph. For Tabitha, Oscar Award, stolen from Africa, Mount Rushmore, stolen from Africa. I even think that it used to be African. Medusa, she was also an African. Comment if y'all want part two of some more shit. These niggas stolen from Africa. I thought they said Jesus was white. Now he's from Africa. Then he nah. make their mind up man. No, he was actually Mexican, just so y'all know. Yeah. He was a carpenter. Yeah. Jesus. Come on now. Yeah, yeah there you go. I agree. I don't care. What hey, I, you know, you know what this yeah. reminds me of, like Th this here and the, on the glider before it reminds me of like the minstrel shows, right? Where the white, where the gliders were doing it, but when the summer started doing it, they did it better. So yeah. they took them out of business. Yeah, definitely. I mean, look, this shit right here is mind-boggling because how do you, how do you? Make a stolen from Africa song where you mention about 10 or 20, 30 things and not one thing from West or Central Africa. Everything he talked about was either from Egypt, Europe, <laughs> or America. He didn't talk about one thing from the place where if any of us take our fucking ancestry <laughs> DNA. It's going to fucking say we from fucking Congo, Nigeria, Togo, Benin, Ghana, Coast, Ghana Cameroon, Angola, all that shit. Everything he mentioned was not from any of those places. And then another thing is a lot of black people, they say that they're the true Hebrews. And like you said, like Egyptians enslaved hebrews so why are you why are you caping for the egyptians if they enslave your people yeah I, but that hebrew shit is just some like, i know you know, but i'm yeah. saying like they say they're hebrew yeah. yet they love the egyptians so that, much that's too many too understand. many levels for them yeah, <laughs> they get lost yeah we get lost in that that's that's what that's exactly what i was about to say like <laughs> we're the Indians and we're the first Asians. Time All race. that shit is just like shit we say and then we forget about it. Because as soon as the USA, yesterday Uganda said that they banned it, and we'll get to that. Uganda said yeah. they're banned it, and everyone's like, yeah, we on Africa. We don't do that shit. We didn't do that shit when we were back in Africa. <laughs> Wait a second. I thought you was fucking Hebrews and fucking Native Americans. So it's like, it's like they just, we just like, you can't, if, I feel bad for, for, for races that take us seriously on everything we say. Now, you have to take some of the things we say, but races that hop on every lily pad, oh, black people said this, oh, black people said that, oh, black people, we're, we're driving you crazy, we have you dizzy, man. When, when the Sun Man says he's coming back with his crew to shoot up your store, that's when you should take him serious. Yeah, you take that seriously, but you don't take... Um, when they every little yeah that they say, Abraham they Lincoln like, didn't come from Africa. Yeah, and all the first president was black, and all the presidents. Statue of Liberty did not come from Africa. Yeah, we we we, we it, it, came from I, France. Didn't everyone learn this in like fucking fifth grade? Yeah, I can't believe that Gladys is actually taking that shit seriously, man. That shit is crazy. 